John Bonnell here. Today is Tuesday, the um, 24th of May 2016. I'm just about to give our Chief Kingi Total a call to see what's happening and the latest from Sue Nakora, the Prime Minister of the Maori Government of this country, New Zealand. Um, so here goes. I'll try and call him. Kingy, John here. John here. How are you? He said to ring when I when I want to ring you. So I thought oh, I better give you a ring. Um, what, did Sue ring you yet? That she's coming up. Uh, uh, she's coming up to uh, see her spell. And yeah, um, so I'm expecting her this week. And just, I'll let you know when when she uh, when she calls me, and uh, I want to have a little talk with her as well, so we can tee up with um, with uh, what she's thinking at the moment. And um, but I wanted to make sure with you to uh, catch up with with where I'm at at the moment. Um, I'm I'm putting I'm I'm putting this case stall together for the Cook Street. Um, so that's about 575 pages so far, and um, uh, it's it's going to catch them out because I I can tell you now that um, Jerry Matipurai will go to London as the new ambassador. He will sit over there, and the Queen of go is is in the EU Parliament before Obama Obama sends the Navy here to teach the police the new um, laws and, uh, and that's the part I'm worrying about at the moment um, with what the, how they're designing this sort of carry on to take our flag while Jerry's in, in London to give to William and, and, and I, I feel that's what they're up to to cut us out of it and so that he becomes the king by default of being Maori over there William, 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 I think the Queen will abdicate. Uh, I'm just only thinking uh, what I'm thinking, what, what they're doing, why they're, they're, they're getting ready for, because Jerry finishes in November, he's in his new post off to London, then then Obama finishes and he's he's getting his Navy to come here in, in November to train the police, to train the police to take the bloody place out and I'm thinking I've got to head them off with whatever Sue's got and it needs, her government needs to kick in with Ngāpui from that marae and you there uh, as, as signatory in that Waitangi marae to take that flag and tell the world that we're, we're, we're taking our authority as a threat against our own uh, country's treason, you see I'm putting that in the documents is coming from there and you. I'm not worrying about Hoipa, he pissed me off today. I told him, stick your nose out of this political business. You're there to look after the marae. Yeah, now that's what I basically did this morning. He keep annoying me all the time, like report to him. Yeah, now that's what I'm doing now. I'll just stick with you and that's about it. They can't do much other than and he, he's ignoring Sue, that's what got me, because he says, we don't need no government in here, this is not about government, they're this and they're that. I says, no, that's the way things go, whoever. Without that, you're pretty well helpless, and you're, you're going you're gonna to go down the South Island. Sue's already been through all this lot, and why don't you just go and talk to her? 
and uh, let her sort out uh, what she's doing. So I'm just going to boost up behind Sue and if necessary go back to Gisborne and help her to set up um, to, to save our bloody flag and save our bloody country from any threat. Um, so that's, that's, that's about it. it, it I'll, I'll let you know if there's any change. And uh, because I'm telling the whole world on Facebook what's happening here from that marae, and we, we, I'm letting them know that we have the, the marae uh, uh, ship in there as our, our, our thing with the flag, um, as our authority there. Uh, so people understand that. It's just that we're, we're ready with Sue. Sue can do her thing. And it looks like she'll bring the Russian in to Rangitukia. And um, if the British don't get their act together and, and do something about what happened at that marae and the Navy here, is, is in cahoots with it. That's why they're not doing anything, Kingy. That fellow John Martin is with Jerry and with, um, with John Key and with Obama. They're in that little gang to, to hook, every, hook everything out of it. It's, it's sad, but it's Maori. He's, he's Maori to go there and do the Maori thing. And uh, I'm, I'm more interested in Queen Victoria's trust king between me and you. That's the big uh, thing that I keep talking about, the, the crown jewels is in that marae tied up with that admiralty. And, and don't worry about anything. I'll just keep your, your King Edward line in its right place. I know what to do with all of that. And just use, use the flag for its potential and we just go as chiefs of that land. The land itself, that's why I'm putting title on there from Cook Street. The barrister will look after that. That's why they're worried, Kingy, that, that's why they're hanging my case out, because they know it's going to bum and whack them from that marae. And, um, um, but whoever's too thick to know that. Yeah, I said, Kingy's a military... Yeah. And I said, King is a military man. This is about military. This is not about you, you and your your things over there. Yeah, just not to do with Napoli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, he got no right. He's trying to be a the, trying to be the big thing, but I've had enough of him today, and and he's gone out of the way now. Um, um, and that fellow Kawanata, he got arrested, and and he, he's locked up now. Um, so Kawanata, Kawanata, Po, Po. Yeah. Oh, uh, from a, another offence down the South Island when he was down there. That is a road check got him. Now it'll hook him into the Cork Street one, because he was he was one of the ones the fellows that that they didn't get. <laughs> um, so. Poor, poor brother, and the other big fella, Marish. He 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 got, he didn't. He's been at large too. <laughs> the cheeky buggers, they be, they be running me down. I said, "Oh, you fella supposed to be caught, mate." <laughs> I said, "You fellas escaped, and you fellas was funny. Only some got arrested, and some didn't. <laughs> and your fellas' photos are in the thing. You can see your fellas being mischief." And, and I wasn't one of the mischief ones in there. <laughs> yeah, now, between you and me, Kingy, we've got our finger on the pulse on, on the, 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 the inheritance of that trust. That, that's what, between me and you, that's, that's what, we don't worry about anybody else, just the documents. <laughs> no, I just want to let them know what's, what, what, the, what the hell is going on. Yeah. <laughs> no, not at all. No. Oh no. Yeah, no. I, th I think we we just ha hang our head low until I get something going. Could. Um, uh, uh, Sue said, how much is my court case going to cost? I said, the legal aid's taking care of it. She thought it would be 150000 I think she was saying, we'll have the money for it. I think, I think, I, I quite believe her when she says she's got her, her, her reserve bank sorted with, with Hirschfeld. I think they've been working on it for a while. And I, 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 that's all I care about. 
that'll kick cook straight into gear and it'll kick you'll get your land back up there in the same time and and I'll go back to Gisborne and run the bloody Mary Land Court over there. Mary Land Court's over there with all the titles you see I sorted out with through there she's got all the books on that so I'll keep up with you mate uh, I'm all right I'm all right I'll just keep going and as long as you right right there you go that's the chief I just let you uh, let you know that my mate is um, a military man and we're, we're in a military zone we're in a war zone at the moment uh, I'll let you know uh, uh, with this uh, Jerry Matiparai Andrews if you're watching this video this one's for you I know what you're up to I just alerted our, our chief he signs these documents he's authenticated the documents he's the chief the last man on his feet on that Marai Titi Marai and now the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. Alright? We've got that set up for this case on Cook Street. 77 Cook Street. I'm going to take that property as was planned from that Marae in three years in a row. I'm supposed to be in Westminster. And that title there was on the agenda in the three occasions when it got mandated to go and seize it. It took me a long time to finally go and seize it. But because the marshals, uh, I contracted them to do the job, it didn't come out the way I, I thought they might have uh, exercised it because it's the first time I've met them. And I'm thinking that they should know what they're doing. But uh, however, I'm back on it. I will do it myself um, with the chief. and. Um, uh, so that's that's it in a nutshell, really. I wanted to let Kingy know that this country is a threat is threatened by John Key, Jerry Mataparai, the Governor General, John Martin, the Chief of Navy of New Zealand, and and um, Sean Elias, the S S uh, Supreme Court um, Chief of Justice and Police Minister uh, Judith Collins and the Attorney General Chris Finlayson. There was other, other ones, Bruce, um, I mean um, 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 Bill English, the um, um, Treasurer, Minister of Finance. Um, so that's to name a few who are libeling themselves in this threat against our country. They are private countries, private companies. These people who are operating the government are private companies. They are not the country. They are not the country. The, the, com the company on the Waitangi Marae, on that land that belongs to Kingi Taurua, he wants his land back now. We're going through the court in the Auckland District Court to get his land back, the same as I want my land back on Cook Street. Now that's the first case scenario that we're going through now straight to Britain. Straight to Britain, if you're watching this video, the British military and Westminster Parliament, you are our partners in this flag here of King William IV. It's jurisdiction of Admiralty, court-martial law. The only flag in the world that has a court-martial law inside it. Now that you know the Pope destroyed his court-martial laws, and all his laws on admiralty and left everybody with nothing. It's only between us and Britain and now that the Queen's gone into the EU Parliament she's the threat with John Key and the Governor General here and what they're trying to do now is to shift the Governor General to England as the ambassador to New Zealand. You won't be having that position by the time Sue Nikora gets her hands on the government here and boots them. So that's what we're going through at the moment. I'm just alerting Kingy. Uh, straight in the face of everybody in the world watching these videos, all my videos are our legal proof of claim that I'm saying statements that are real for you to refute. You must refute this. Any person affected by what I say on these lands in New Zealand, including Bruce Mitter in Tauranga, 
I see you have an article there that has prompted my attention to your claims. You must put those in front of the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court if you want to do anything with it because that flag is holding the power to this country and to the world for that matter inside King William's title. He put this land together so you can come here and live on it and occupy that piece of land with a title that everybody in the world uses, the titles of Admiralty. Now that this is the only original Admiralty flag in the world, it saves Britain from collapse because it's the King's flag. There's no other King's flag in the world, only this one given to us natives because the king trusted only us in the whole world. He didn't even trust his own family, put it that way. So, one, this country is under threat because of John Key trying to sell it to the TPPA when it's not his title. He hasn't got clear title to these lands. He's still trying to settle out Maori. Maori is not a tribe of origins. It is being created by the Crown Corporation private companies. Those private companies are threatening our country, including the Navy. The company that I'm particularly interested in the Panama tax havens of this country to audit straight away is the Waitangi National Trust company, private company inside that marae on King Itaurua's land in Titi Marae, Waitangi Marae land blocks, the treaty grounds. In other words, the treaty grounds are now suspect of its title and its business running inside that marae. Our carvings are inside that marae from my land blocks at the East Cape as well as other hapus. It belongs to the hapus, not the iwi. The iwis get the bill. You're getting the bill straight into that New Zealand company, the, the New Zealand, the, the Waitangi National Trust, inside the Waitangi Treaty House. It's a Waitangi Admiralty Court House. That's what it really is with the ship beside it, with the flag pole, and this flag is one of them flying on the right hand side and the British flag on the other side just shows you this has got the partnership title to Britain. There, right there. That's the proof of claim that I'm claiming us to be in charge of that ship on that piece of land and that marae is not belonging to anybody else's wood but ours from our lands. Right? So, for you, John Key, I have a message for you from me and my chief, King Itaurua, last man on his feet, he's the one that has the last say, he's a military man on that land there as Ngāpui, to say this is the authority of this country. He's the authority from that piece of land with everything stuck to it. He's seized back. We've seized it back on my documents that are going into the Auckland District Court. As soon as I finish putting them together, I'm taking my time about that, there's enough to sink everybody in Parliament from all the crimes in the Crimes Act 1961 that you have broken all of those acts right through the years and I'm picking up you people. When your name is on my Facebook site, that's admissible evidence in the High Court of Admiralty in London. If we make you go there, you have to go there. If you can't get there, you get the bill. Everybody is liable. Liable under John Key government. You are now liable according to the Pope Francis orders that he destroyed all trusts and corporations, including your use of the Admiralty Law under his laws. You have nothing else of laws but the Vatican's laws that you have adapted to suit yourselves. We have the British law that's locked to us from Britain and all the acts that 
this country took out, we're putting back in. The Hanging in Chains Act is one that stands out a mile off. 1834 Hanging in Chains Act. We pull it out and put it right in front of you, John Key, because to us and my chiefs, they are warriors still. They use that for people who commit treason and genocide and theft of land and resources, okay, and tax havens that you say, no, no, not here. When we see that it is, we're going to audit you with the Maori government and Sue Nikora, its Prime Minister. That's been going on for a long time. We shut you down in 2012, but John Key didn't come back in because I was going to sack you, John Key, right there in front of everybody. And then it's happened then, the Governor General then, Sue Nakura sacked you. She sacked you right there on video. And what happened, John Key? You opened the Parliament up after Sue Nakura sacked you. That was, she was operating under the Confederation of Chiefs of Aotearoa, New Tirini. Right? Right in front of everybody. This was the Confederation Assembly of Chiefs. Uh, in Congress, in that upper house of Titi Marae, right? We shifted the upper house now into Waitangi Marae as the King's Bench Court of Court Martial Law. I'm the Sheriff and the Surrogate King William IV to speak to this flag for King William in his absence. I'm taking his place as administering his law with King Itaurua, the Chief to sign it off. Just like a Prime Minister, you've got a Prime Minister, we have a Prime Minister and we have a Chief. The Chief of the Native Court, that is the Native Court, that is the only Native Court in the world with a King's flag of authority from Britain, right, to administer his laws in our laws. That's my job in Gisborne, the Maryland Court there, will be taking over that whole place and its titles, and I'll be in there administering that for Sue Cora. Just telling you now, in lieu of that happening, we're making intentions of going there, and Sue has got it set up in Gisborne to take over the whole of the land titles there, and I'll take the rest of the Rogan titles in Auckland and North and the South Island. I'll be looking after that, and the portfolio, and the policy maker for the foreshore seabed, and also for the fisheries and transport. That's my portfolio that I'm going to do for her. Although she's got the Maori government that's local and national, I have the Maui Crown King William Commonwealth Government of the World with this flag in 250 countries where we're going to follow where the flag went, the Queen Victoria Trust and all of that inheritance is forfeited back to the King's Bench Court. From the Queen's Bench Court in the Royal Building in London, it will come back into the King's Bench Court. The British military is obligated to retrieve, salvage, confiscate everything back from the Queen's Bench Court and all its subjects back into the King's Bench Court because the Queen is in treason with us, the native, and British people that she's trying to chuck down Westminster Parliament. I'm um, just a warning to all your British people that this flag, I'm coming with it, me and Jamie, uh, Anna Marie, Patrick Stewart. We're coming with this flag to hoist it out in Westminster or better still in Devon on King William's estate inheritance land, all right? I'm expecting that to happen very soon. We should have been there now. My barrister said to me, John, there's nothing to stop you from going to England and doing your job there. I'll be there sooner as I get Cook Street taken off those people and given back to the people of this country. That's what I'm there for, the common law people of the world and King William's flag. To all you people in uh, the Commonwealth Courts in the world, this is your flag. This is your flag and 
join in behind the Moai Crown King William Trust and its organisation as soon as we get funded and get going with um, the Maori government and its funding that Sue has arranged, um, signing the papers with her and her barrister. Uh, that's my barrister as well. I have my own barrister. The other barrister is uh, Shannon Withers, is handling our case now in Cook Street. I'll have all the court case. It's in 575 pages so far. It'll be a bit more than that yet by the time I finish. So I'm going through methodically to pull out all the acts that they have broken. The police, the government, John Key, you two, are in there implicated in that fraud accessories as third parties. You're all third party to the Queen, the biggest fraudster out of them all. She's a threat to Britain and to us. She's abandoned ship. She abandoned ship in Britain and went into the EU Parliament in 2008, signed in 2009. That's when all the trouble started with John Key and this country going the way it is now and changing into the new world order. It went from there. I followed it and put it in documents and affidavits to catch her in the fraud with Gordon Brown in the Labour Party in Britain signing with her in the back room without any consent from the people. It's a to follow that fashion of breaking their own rules all the way through. This law will hang you for treason. King and Queen and, and all your ministers there in Westminster breaking it up and pulling it to bits and letting all those immigrants in. You're bad people. You're going to get this bill and we're going to retrieve everything, confiscate everything off you, the whole lot of you in the world, right through the world, the people tell us who took what. And this country, New Zealand, to you, uh, John Key, <clears throat> your time has come to tell the truth. The same as what I'm doing in, in, the, in the Auckland District Court is to make Natalie Flower Dew Brown, CIB, Criminal Investigation Bureau uh, detective, owner to what she did to me with the King's property on me with authority to wear his seals and his coat of arms and the eight point star most of all the new world order which is the eight point star with his photo here you confiscated that property from me there's an act for that for stealing or, or confiscating something as a threat against a country people we are this country we are this country and you violated or threatened the king and me by taking that property and me, arresting me, the natural person, and then writing my name in capitals. And then that mystery man you created, the money that you're paying yourselves with, I want to know who it is that countersigned what I signed as blackmail to get me out of prison with a bail bond that I will sign if you are allowed to go and get that money. I want all of it back and everybody else's back after that, right? Don't forget, that's a crime. That's just another crime you committed and you forged the witnesses' names into the capitals as well. And your friend, the constable, put your name in capitals and caught you out too. I just let people know that you, you got caught out as the corporate person as well, as conflict of interest as a, in a common law court sense in natural, your, your, your name in lowercase, natural person, and there you are, the constable, what you won, and you put your name in capitals, and got you, right, you're, you're caught out, and that's not all, you, you had no right to take a king's shirt off me, I had the authority to wear that shirt, with the flags on it, right, with the flags on it, with the seals and everything. I have the right to, to wear that for the chiefs up in Ngākui and around this country, for this land, our land, not yours. And you had the chief to come and take it off me, strip it here, right, right here where I'm sitting. Take it off and take it as evidence against me. 
its evidence now against you, a defendant. And the other police, Aaron Pascoe, detective, another criminal, <coughs> detective that was a criminal himself on the Tuhoi raids, had no federal state authority to go and set up state of emergency there. <coughs> John Key, you, Obama, you're not going to put a state of emergency on this country, any part of it. And you're not going to bring the Navy here too, John Key. That was the other thing I wanted to tell you, that I told King. The Navy in the US, United States, is out of control. It's run by a madman, um, Obama. He's going to get hung, as far as I'm concerned, with this flag if I go to America and hang him there using admiralty law on people and shut them down with this flag. That's what this flag can do. It has that power to shut down anybody using the admiralty law without authority from us, the partners. The Queen is out of England now, so you get no say, no say from Westminster because it's a conflict of her word and her face in the courthouses. It's still got the Maori chief on this side and the Queen on that side. That's deceptive. That's deceptive. In front of the public, it's not there. Something that's not real. You're gonna have to swear your oath of office, you people in the court, to who you're swearing your oath of office to. It's not a queen. It's something less of a king and less of me. So that's where your problem is. Now, the state of emergency. This is a state of emergency flag. The only one in the world that can allow any country to use admiralty as a state of emergency. Private contract. Everything in this flag is private contract. Don't forget, private contract. It means between me and you and no one else's business. It's here, me and the landowners on Cook Street. It's just me and those two landowners, James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Roundtree, and no one else. The police came in as third party to a private contract and pulled themselves into our contract. And then... Natalie Flower Jew Brown came here and pulled me into her contract. Now I've pulled her into my contract. And it's going to knock her right out and everybody else mucking around with our contracts, with who I've got contracts with. Between me and the person I've got your name in a box on Facebook, that's it. You are stuck to me in a defaulted contract because you can't answer me any affidavit of any affidavits, any statements I make online, there is no convincing lawyer that can possibly refute anything I state as claim. Okay? So, once again, a state of emergency that Obama sending his Navy here, I don't think we want them here. If they're coming here to teach these police those terrorist acts, this is not a terrorist country for that to happen with these police here. You're already in trouble. The police are already in trouble here as private businesses, private contract businesses. I've pulled you all into a private contract with me now. You're answerable to me and my chief here in this country. You've pulled me into contract with your fictitious law as, as, as fiat money and with those... Uh, names, um, the capital letters, deceptive language on documents, false forged documents to extract money out of me and my name, the use of my name, John Wanoi in capital, is taking advantage of something that you haven't told anybody about and that's a threat on us. So the state of emergency in this country, New Zealand, it's not going to happen without our consent to have any of that happen here. We, we, we are looking for a new partner because the British have just about exhausted their part of the contract with us by default. And if the Russians come in here with their military down the east coast of Brunei, Tokyo, with Sunakora, so be it. We contract them to do that job. If the British are not there to contract, we still got Bill on them. We've got a 917 million trillion trillion pound note bill 
on the British government, Westminster, the Queen, the Rothschild banks, the Pope Francis and his Vatican Church, Church and State of England, and also the Federal State in America, all of you and the World Bank and the UN and NATO and all of those organisations that are using King William's flag, sovereign, when we know you are using it for your banks and, and, and making money out of people's private interests and their resources. This flag will build it all. And John Key, your bill here, your bill comes out as a 970 million trillion trillion. I'm telling you before Jerry McAvoy goes to England that you've got a case against you now making this public. That we have you as liable now as criminal. Criminal, all those names I said, John Key, you, Jerry Mataparai, the Governor General, um, Chris Ronison, Attorney General, um, Judith Collins, the Minister of Police, um, Sean Elias, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, um, um, Jerry Mataparai, Governor General, um, who else is there? Um, so, those. And Helen Clark in the UN, she's, she's the foreshore and seabed stole that off us. I haven't finished with you yet. You're the other one. You're going to get the bill. Uh, so I'm saying, you people are liable now for setting up the TPPA. All those countries in the TPPA, you're in that bill too. I'm just going to split it all out before John Key sends off Jerry Matafrai. Andrews, you're liable. You're liable before you go to England. We don't want you to be the ambassador for New Zealand. No, you're no good. I'm just telling your mate, Kingy, you both went to war together in Vietnam, and you went the other way and sold our country and sold his land under his nose. He doesn't like that. He doesn't like that. You're going to have to pay for that. You're going to have to pay. I'm telling you, you're going to pay for that. And you're not going there to give our flag to Prince William or anybody this flag. This is our flag. It's not your flag to give to anybody flying on that ship of Admiralty in the treaty ground. We've seized that place already. We've made intentions on the 15th of April 2016. We seized it right there in that meeting we had there. I'm going to go there and finish off the job and put the flag up, this flag up the top, when we get things cranked up here. Okay? So don't you ever go near this flag because it's a sign of war. You go and start doing anything in England with this. They know I'm going there prior to you going to go there. I'm going there and wait for you and hang you. All right? I'm going to hang you because that's what Malai say. That's what the people say. They don't like treasonous people with the Queen and all this ISIS and all those things going on. And you, Obama, you're going to get hung too. I'm saying that on this because I'm saying it to this flag. And Malai, King William. I'm saying you broke our laws of admiralty by doing what you did to us and <coughs> the people of the world, that you have gone and terrorized all these countries. You, Queen, you're the worst out of them all, and you deserve to be hanged like Queen Mary got hung. So you're the next one to get hung for all those kids that you killed and murdered for sport and, and there's enough proof that people will come forward with the proof and we'll be there in the court to make sure you get dealt with with John Key you two and Jerry Mataprai, you people running our country here for your own private interest, nothing to do with us, you've got you've got these tax havens we're going to investigate and it'll show us what you were doing here for yourselves. That's a threat. <coughs> you are a threat against the national interests of this country and with the state of, this is a state of emergency. We're putting a state of emergency on you. Right? We're going to do it to you before you try to do it to us and to America. We're putting a state of emergency here against you and contract any country who wants to help us to keep you out. Right? We don't want Americans here. We don't want you here running around with guns, mad as hell. You can keep that in America. 
it's, it's going to the pack already. It was meant to, meant to disrupt the Queen, meant to disrupt all countries, not going to disrupt us. So that's all I want to say for now. And um, we'll catch up with you later. Thanks for listening. And we'll bring up the latest for you as soon as I finish the video, um, uh, the um, uh, case files, and put them online. Bye. Joe Monola, Auckland, New Zealand.